opposing and trying to end carnism. Yes, end carnism. veganism. You will eat the bugs. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you wanted me to react to Soy Theist. Those vegans, so original. <laughs> Soy Theist is apparently a vegan activist as well. And today we're going to check out his video titled Vegan Explains Why Veganism Is Not Moral. The little rainbow flag in the background tells me everything I need to know. Let's have a look. The title of this video probably doesn't mean what you think it means. So don't rush to that dislike button. But it's also technically okay. true. So I did not clickbait you. So again, don't rush to the dislike button. Vegans have no, a tendency anywhere, of saying that veganism is the good thing to do, that it's the moral thing to do. But it's not. It's the neutral thing to do. Like, consider what Neutrality means. Wow, I never heard that one before. On moral issues. Neutrality on moral issues. Those vegans copy each other, but then they present their videos as if they are some sort of philosopher king presenting the newest ideas. Wow. Means to neither support nor oppose a given issue. In general, people, vegan or not vegan, tend to view eating animals as the morally neutral thing to do. But it's not. Consider what's odd. going on when we eat animals. We actively fund these industries. We fund these industries that are uh, responsible. Dude, you are funding industries by vegan food. This is when you fund industries. But yes, I will agree. If you buy conventional meat, you are funding an industry. You're always funding an industry when you're walking into the supermarket. On the other hand, if you go to a family's farm, believe it or not, some of us do this. Then you're funding a family massive animal suffering like we've oh. clearly chosen a side there we've chosen the side which causes animal suffering how can that be neutral now consider <laughs> what we're doing when we just go vegan and you just chose the side of human suffering you're malnourishing yourself how much do you weigh? 50 kilos and on top of that you chose the side of sexual immorality we're just saying to suffering these plus suffering Look, uh, you're not going to get my money anymore to do these terrible things to these innocent animals. That's all. We've just chosen neutrality when we just go vegan. Yes, alone. absolutely neutral. I'm not going to give my money to the animal industry. Instead, I'm going to give it to Beyond Meat. I have the habit sure. of saying that, you know... <laughs> Bill Gates, I take my money! ...about this issue of veganism that you bring up. But while doing so, while I'm thinking, I will continue to eat animals. And if it turns out that... But I'm not thinking. I made up my mind. I was a vegan for four years straight. I'm not thinking one bit about going vegan. I'm going to continue to eat meat. Thank you very much. I must go vegan, then I will go vegan. But the what? thing is... Who's thinking like that? That the default position cannot be violence. Why are you thinking about whether or not you... Why not? The default position on this planet is violence. And I'm not talking about species internal violence. Of that you will see quite little. I'm talking about certain organisms eating other organisms. Everything feeds on each other. Even your plants eat other organisms. That's life. I have a justification Sad. to cause unnecessary, unimaginable animal suffering. The default thing to do while you're doing that is not to be eating animals still. But listen, my little friend, this is where you get it wrong. I can look at you and analyze your hormonal profile without a blood test. Looking at your narrow shoulders and your almost non-existent chin, I can already say that you're low testosterone and very high estrogen. It is highly likely as well that you grew up vegetarian or that your mother was a vegetarian whilst pregnant with you. You are underdeveloped and I'm not saying this to insult you. You can clearly see that you are malnourished. This is probably why you don't understand that eating meat is a necessity for proper development. The thing to do there is to say, you know what, I don't have... <laughs> ample justification <laughs> right now so until i can the justification is species specific diet every animal on this planet has its species specific diet so does the human there is a diet that aids human flourishing human thriving and spoiler it's not veganism come up with a justification for contributing to this unnecessary industry wow man 
I'm going to withhold my funding from It's that not industry. unnecessary. Basically, this is the lie that vegans tell you over and over and over again until they believe it. It is unnecessary. I have been a vegan for four years. Woohoo! You can do it too! Yeah, if you want to look like the soy theist or earthling at, go for it. If you're unsure about this wow, matter, man. you should be neutral on it. Yeah, you should. And you should be vegan. You should be vegan. Okay, so that's about <laughs> vegan. Now I understand why he calls himself soy theist. Veganism is his religion. Veganism being the morally neutral thing. So what is the morally positive thing? Tell me. Well, it is to oppose uh, animal suffering yeah. and exploitation. Mm. And you can do this... Then in go into the jungle and do your activism there. In a number Case of closed, ways. everybody the wins. The most obvious thing to do is you can do your own activism. Mm -hmm. That's one way. Or you can do something similar to what you were doing when you were causing animal suffering. Mm -hmm. Now what you could hypothetically do is oh. you could give your money yeah. to the side that tries to end animal life. Yes, give your money to Earthling Ed. <laughs> now, I am a soy boy because I love soy. Like, that's fine. I drink soy milk, I eat tofu. But the idea is by being a soy boy, you're what, feminizing yourself, right? Because there's phytoestrogens in soy products, which there is. So here are a few ways. You can donate to sanctuaries, mm. the most obvious way. You can invest your money. In so wait a second, I'm going to pay for sanctuaries where cows graze all day and then they die a natural death, which implies much more suffering than a bolt gun. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Grown meat, that's another way. And this is going to sound a bit self-serving because maybe it is. But you could also give your money to advocates and activists such as myself <laughs> if you think we're doing good work. Like, for example, the reason... Amazing, I man. This whole video was about this. This is why I said those people have no new ideas. They have no original ideas. They simply copy the videos of other vegans that already get money for their activism. People <laughs> to make oh, the videos that I You're such a little weasel, man. ...is completely, almost completely because of the support and kindness of my patrons. Now, it doesn't mm. have to be me. You can give your money to any of other it. activist or advocate. Just give it to any other. Yes, of course, it doesn't have to be me. But because I said that, I seem even more benevolent and even more compassionate. And therefore, you're going to give me your money. Yes. Surely one way <laughs> that you can help out this movement and so forth. Surely. You see, we tend to view veganism and carnism on a spectrum. But this is Carnism is not an ism, veganism is. Carnism is an invention of the vegans. There is no such thing because it is the default position to eat meat. Every animal eats its species-specific diet in the wild. The cow grazes, the lion eats the gazelle, the bigger fish eats the smaller fish, and we can eat everything. That's it. It's not an ism. Spectrum. It hasn't the been conditioned. The spectrum is supporting and participating in carnism and on the other side, opposing and trying to end carnism. Yes, end carnism. Veganism you will eat the bugs and carnism. Before I end this video, I must state that I do believe that you should only have to be neutral on moral issues. Being neutral is the moral obligation. Did I just wow. raise an eyebrow? You see, it's simple because there are just so yes, many moral issues. You could not possibly be fighting to end them all. But you could be neutral on all of them. That is to say, you could, at the very least, be not contributing to them when you have the option not to. Are you neutral on the wild? This is an honest question. Are you neutral on predators eating prey? So while I do maintain that veganism is the morally neutral thing, it is just the morally neutral thing, it is also just veganism that is the moral obligation. Doing vegan activism... Why is it a moral obligation? You're a soy theist, not a theist. You probably don't believe in God, otherwise you wouldn't swing that sodomite flag there in the background. So why is it a moral obligation then? If there is no God, there is no universal morals, we can do what we want and we are just animals. Anyways, why do we have to give up meat? ...and giving your money to to activists and sanctuaries Just money away. And funding lab-grown meat. <laughs> These are all good things. That's These are good. all morally good things. But it's not necessary for you to do those things. It is not necessary for you to become a vegan activist. It is not necessary for you to give your money to sanctuaries and activists and mm. funding lab-grown meat. Just be neutral, bro. Those are moral virtues. Just be neutral. Not moral obligations. Yes. At least that's what I think. Oh. What do you think? What do you think? Let's discuss this in the comments. Let's talk. I'll be in the comment section yes. for a while after okay. publishing this video. And if yeah. you think All right guys, and this is it.
Wow, those vegans are truly something else. They're not failing to amaze me. Anyway, some of you suggested to invite Soytheist over on my channel for a discussion. You're more than invited if you see this video. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.